and let's just cut it cut it any way you want everybody okay broccoli Oops. asparagus right there pieces of oh, let's uh, drizzle the pan juice that we just made and some of the vegetables well if you're like me who enjoys looking over food pictures all over the internet and sometimes watching endless cooking videos well I'm sure some of you may have seen the dish that we are making today we are making spatchcock chicken today five and a half pounds of whole chicken right here I washed it with cold water and now I'm just using uh, paper towels to just dry out the liquid the water and make sure malinis na po ang inyong chicken to feel the backbone the spine ng chicken all right Ang ibig pong sabihin ng spatchcock chicken is cooking the chicken parang butterfly style or removing the um, backbone, the spine and then lulutuin yun siya ng padaka. You just break the backbone even more para maging flat siya. Let's work on the filling. Four tablespoons of melted butter over here. And we will season it with half a teaspoon salt and half a teaspoon ground pepper. One teaspoon of dried oregano. About half a cup of chopped cilantro. All right, this is about one tablespoon of lemon zest that I am adding into the melted juice of half a lemon. And also I'm adding 10 cloves of garlic minced. Chicken back into the counter. We have the filling and we have the chicken. So now, using your hands, everybody, ipapalaman po natin ang butter at chaka ang mga spices na pinagsama-sama natin. Just make sure yung buong chicken po is pretty much covered with the melted butter filling that we just made. And just to be sure, adding just a pinch of salt into the skin of the chicken before we bake it and also some ground pepper. into a baking pan with aluminum foil in it. Okay. Just put the chicken on the side here. All right, since we are going to roast the chicken, sayang naman po if we're not going to put um, some vegetables on the side. All right, so not only that we save time, we save energy, and napakadali, easy clean. add these vegetables into the chicken and put it around the chicken I will add olive oil into the butter mixture that uh, we made earlier and I will toss the vegetables with 
be a mixture before we uh, roast it. Okay? I just push this vegetables forward and let me get a big mixing bowl everybody. I will add half a cup of olive oil. Add the uh, remaining or the leftover and I will season with a tiny bit of salt like half a teaspoon and half a teaspoon ground pepper. Now, this is what we are going to do. As you all know everyone, ang mga vegetables po, hindi sabay-sabay maluluto yan. Like the potatoes, this will take a long time. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna just toss it all together and just dump it in the chicken. Although you can do that, but tendency is, baka po ma-overcook yung ibang vegetables nyo. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna do uh, one kind of vegetable at a time. And I'm just gonna crowd it or place it in one side of the, uh, the pan. Now let's roast the chicken. Into the oven, right at the center. Preheat the oven, 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And after 45 minutes, let's uh, check out the chicken. All right. Okay, here it is, everybody. Just in case, if you're wondering kung bakit wala na po yung vegetables dito other than the potatoes and the onions, ibig sabihin po, tinanggal ko na as we uh, were roasting it because uh, ma-overcook. Let me show you how it looks like, okay? Yung mushrooms po, tinanggal ko after 10 minutes, alright? I removed the broccoli from the pan between 15 to 20 minutes. Cauliflower, I remove the cauliflower from the pan between 15 to 20 minutes as well. Yun pong uh, asparagus, maninipis tong asparagus na to, it took me 10 minutes. Ang naiwan po dito sa pan is yung potatoes at saka yung yellow onion. Rest natin yung chicken. You have to rest this for about 10 to 15 minutes and let the juice um, comes back inside the chicken. Iwanan po na natin muna ito. The internal temperature of the chicken should be at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, your chicken may require to roast longer than 45 minutes depending on how big it is. The chicken into a chopping board. Then again, what are we going to do with all these pan juices that was left in the pan? This is where the money is, everybody. Remember, this is most of the flavor went to. So we're gonna make a gravy out of this pan juices. Okay? It's been resting for about 10 to 15 minutes now and I could just see some of the juices are still coming out um, and let's just cut it. Cut it any way you want everybody, okay? Okay. Strain muna po natin ang lahat ng pan juices. Vegetables and all the uh, juice from the chicken. Nandyan lahat ang flavor. After that... Okay, let's melt 4 tablespoons of butter in a small sauté pan. Alright, now that it's uh, melted, let's add the pan juices into the pan. Use medium heat. And let's add lemon juice. This is the remaining uh, half of lemon juice that we used earlier. So that was about three tablespoons lemon juice.
Let's season it with ground pepper and about half a teaspoon of salt. Now we are ready to plate some chicken. And then let's add some vegetables. You have cauliflower, broccoli, oops, asparagus right there, pieces of now let's uh, drizzle the pan juice that we just made and some of the vegetables. Ngayon, napakadali, di ba? I hope you try this at home. This is spatch ka chicken. May iba naman pa minsan din. Okay, everybody. Thank you very much for watching uh, the cooking video. You can expect there will be a lot more uh, cooking videos coming your way. To all the new subscribers of Chef Ron Bilaro YouTube channel, maraming maraming salamat po and welcome. Shout out to my Instagram friends and syempre hindi ko malilimutan ang mga followers, especially mga new followers ng Chef Ron Bilaro Facebook page. Maraming salamat po for always pressing the like, giving me positive comments, and sharing my cooking videos. Alright, until the next dish. Ron Bilaro po, love you guys. Bye!